Hi everyone, this short Mugera video tutorial will show you how to do a, a path animation allowing your object to, to animate along a predefined path. Uh, let's start from a very simple animation, basic animation. We create a, a circle and then uh, allow it to move to several frames, let's say 24 frames. Uh, let's uh, have this uh, frame rate higher. You just uh, drag the object so that you can define some very basic animation, which is uh, along a linear tra linear trajectory. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is that uh, under this animation menu, you can see a command called toggle path display. So if you click on this one, it will show you uh, uh, under which trajectory or the path the animation is defined. So uh, define you on each frame where the object is. So let's see if we go to frame uh, 12 and then we move the object. You can see that the tra trajectory will also be changed. Uh, but still the, the trajectory path is in a green color meaning it's not editable. If you want to define complex uh, uh, motion or animation you want to have this trajectory editable so that you can easily define more complex movement it's very simple uh, by in by just choose uh, animation customize path you may notice that the, the, the path has been changed to purple color so from now on this trajectory can be edited as you edit any uh, curves or basic curves or any other shapes for example you can move it around so when you move it around, you may notice that the whole animation has been moved. You can even scale it. When you scale it, again, the, the, the animation also can be scaled uh, accordingly. So in order to have some nonlinear motion, you can just uh, try to try to edit the, the trajectory, like uh, the, the controlling point. You change the location of the controlling point so that you can define some, you know, fancy shape for your animation like this and then you can go ahead you can see yeah, it's uh, pretty much each 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 node on this curve represent a keyframe in your timeline and also each each load is editable individually uh, again you can move scale or even, or, or even rotate the, the shape and the whole thing will be changed accordingly Great, that's it. Uh, let's uh, preview what we can here. Okay, that's a very useful feature. I hope you enjoy it.